So just a little bit of the background here on um, Sergei and Yulia and, and why they were targeted in particular. Well, we don't know yeah. that, that they were targeted and we don't know what, what do happened. You, what do you think happened? Uh, Colonel Skripal was a GRU career officer. He sold out to the Secret Intelligence Service, supplied information to them over a period, was caught, convicted, and then in 2010 he was one of four people who were released from Russia in exchange for ten illegals who had been caught in the United States. So two went to the United States and two uh, of these spies released in Russia came to the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them was uh, Igor Sityagin, uh, who, who you was, have concerns over? Uh, indeed. Uh, and then the other was uh, uh, Skripal. Mm -hmm. And Colonel Skripal opted to live openly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he didn't want protection. But it's a mistake to think that he received any kind of a pardon in Russia. Uh, the move from his labour camp to the airport was very rushed. They were given no documentation at all. Mm -hmm. And then they were flown to Vienna without any kind of consultation on their part. And actually, Suti Argin doesn't want to be in England and would be very happy to be back in Russia. But he has been told that he is a, quote, fugitive from justice, unquote. OK, so, you know, th those are the people involved and, and it, it all sounds, you know, like a, as we said, like a, like a drama until, you know, people are very seriously, critically ill in, in hospital. Um, who do you think is behind this? I think that ultimately you would have to point the finger at Vladimir Putin uh, for a whole variety of reasons. But there is a strong view within the GRU, which is the Military Intelligence Service, which has very rarely been penetrated, has had, even during the period of the Cold War, very few defectors. At the end of the Cold War, when there were KGB officers forming orderly lines outside uh, Western embassies, uh, there weren't any GRU defectors. So to have a, some, a source within the GRU mm. is pretty unusual, and they exercise, they're a military organisation they exercise very considerable discipline and it is highly likely, particularly during an election campaign, you, they um, would come after. And it's Putin's election campaign. Two very different messages. Uh, the, the Kremlin uh, said it's a tragic situation and, uh, and that Moscow is always open to cooperation. Um, Vladimir Putin has said traitors always end in a bad way, usually from a drinking habit or from drugs right in the street. Um, and so, um, and so it, it, the Russians uh, have the, certainly the Russians have said that our media is being hysterical, um, and this uh, this this could be uh, many other things. This could be uh, Russian gangsters uh, that doesn't have to lead straight back to uh, to the government. Well, it would be unusual if this was gangsterism because of the sophistication of the attack. The fact that Port and Down scientists still haven't been able to identify mm. the toxin involved is. A message mm. 